All right, today's video is kind of a serious topic, but not too serious. It's kind of like a semi-serious topic. Basically, today's video, I'm going to be doing another one of those commentaries, but this time it's not going to be scripted. I already got halfway through the uh, script for it, and I just decided, you know what? No, I'm just going to wing it. Tell you guys straight from my heart what I think about this. Yeah, today's video is basically going to be about YouTubers and motivation. It's going to basically be like the two things I'm going to be talking about in this YouTube video. YouTubers are getting to the point of YouTube, their YouTube careers or whatever. They're getting to the point where they're just losing motivation, and they're not motivated to make videos anymore and they're just uh they're not it's not as uh shiny and brand new and entertaining as they thought it was once before i'd be lying if i said it wasn't kind of a, that kind of thing wasn't applying to me as well even though i'm still a small youtuber that's only been doing youtube for like two years if i just make a video telling you guys about the youtube videos and how how it kind of affects me so that like let's say you guys want to start your own channel and let's say you guys want to kind of do some stuff like your own kind of thing on youtube and you just want a little bit of inside view on what it's going to be like doing YouTube and just want to know what it's going to be like before you actually do it. I'll just tell you, give you guys this video so you guys learn or at least get it from me what I think about this YouTube channel and how my experience on YouTube has been since I started first. I'm going to start when I started YGSL instead of YouTube as a whole. I'm going to start with YGSL because on the first day I started YGSL, I can remember it so vividly because it wasn't that long ago. It was only three months ago or no four. It's almost going to be four. And four months ago, when I started my video, I made two videos in one night. I was up to like 5 a.m. because I was just so hyped and I loved making the videos. Even though I was making videos on my crappy computer that I'd have to eventually turn it in later because it was an awful quality <laughs> computer and it glitched out a bunch. Which is weird because I only watched porn on it to like twice. But <laughs> yeah, I loved making videos. And I kind of remember on the first day, I, did, I didn't directly do it, but I kind of made a promise to myself that I would not make videos and I would not keep going on with this channel if it got to the point where it just was too hard and I just didn't want to do it anymore but uh throughout the entire time all of the videos I've made throughout it and I think I could point out a few videos or something like that I've gotten to the point where I just kind of treated YouTube like a job that I didn't like more than a hobby that was fun and it was a privilege to do you see YouTube is a uh, YouTube can be very up and down it can make you stress yourself out it could be like the biggest stress causer in your entire life, or it could be like one of the reasons you keep living. I mean, God, that uh, the second one doesn't really apply to me. I don't, I'm not to the point where I only have one thing keeping me living. But at the same time, I know there are some people who do. You see, YouTube is, it's, it's like a heaven hell kind of thing, and both of its faces appear to you at certain times. There have been many videos I've made where I was just completely stressed and I just hated it and it sucked. Not only because of YouTube's instability, but also because of my freaking editors just sucking on me. I just, God, a little bit of a thing here. Computers and editors, all right, when they don't work and you're making a video, that is awful, okay? I had, I remember like countless times in this channel, I had to re-edit my videos and it sucked so much. It made me so heartbroken when I put all my time into a video and then it would have to suck and I had to redo it. Another good example was last video I made. My editor decided to give up on me halfway through the video so I had to find something else and I had like a bunch of comments and stuff on the video game halfway through the video that was like kind of funny and I was going to post it but it decided to exit out on me and freeze on me. So I had to redo all the audio. I didn't want to do all the audio again. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to talk about the 50th video thing. So that if you guys didn't feel happy with the 50th video thing, didn't feel like it was actually applying to the gameplay very much, you can thank my editor for that. But uh, the side note aside, I'm going to talk about a little bit more about this. YouTube is an awesome thing. And at the same time, I want to stay on it throughout my college years. All right, YouTube is the best website you'll ever find in your entire life. And do I believe that it's ever going to disappear off the face of the earth? No, I do not. I believe that it will uh, change to many shapes and forms that people will hate or dislike or like. But uh, I just I don't believe that YouTube as itself will ever go off. It's it's too golden to ever die. But yeah, you know, YouTube, this channel is like something I want to be able to have throughout my college years. I want this channel to be the kind of channel that keeps growing. I don't care if I get 100 subscribers or not by the end of this year. I want to be uh, able to have this channel as a channel that stays with me throughout my entire life, or at least until I feel like I'm just too old for it and I need to just sit back and let this channel, instead of serving as like one of the hobbies I have, something like kind of like a memory thing. I want to be able to have my channel to show my children and maybe even still be making uploads when I have children. Because, you know, YouTube is awesome. YouTube is amazing because it gives you the opportunity to make videos and be able, it's like your own kind of art. It's like an art gallery for movies mini movies that you make and that's amazing and i love it so much i honestly don't know where i'd be without youtube i've had points i've had moments in my life where i've had youtube channels i've gotten so into them and then they've ended and then like i every this like felt like a snapback to reality 
don't know if you've ever gotten that feeling before, if you ever had a YouTube channel, but you know, it sucks when YouTube channels die. I want to still have my channel when I'm in my college years, and I'll have to frantically go onto my channel and delete videos I posted drunk in the middle of a night at like some party or something of me like peeing in a fish tank or something. You know what I mean? I want to be able to have this channel throughout my entire life. Maybe even like have like a tradition where I give it to my children and they'll upload videos throughout their life. And then there's children's children will upload. It'll be like, like, like a family emblem, except for with hundreds and millions of videos. That'd be pretty cool. I know it kind of sounds stupid, but you know, it'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> it'd be awesome. I honestly don't know. I mean, cause all, for all I know, this channel could last to the end of next week and then die. Or it could last for the rest of my life. Who freaking knows? But you know, I just, YouTube is really unpredictable to the point where you want to quit. But at the same time, you know that if you quit, uh, all the awesome perks that you got from there will be gone. And it seems like the perks outweigh the the cons just by a little bit. So you're still stuck with it. And as far as the demotivation thing, I know this video is probably trailing on. But as far as the motivation thing, YouTube motivation is a, has been a problem with me for a long time. Because I just, sometimes I just didn't know what kind of content I'd come out with. And sometimes I've made content that I post and I just wasn't proud of it for the life of me. I just didn't want it to be on the channel. I hated it so much. Like it was so cringy or it was just something rushed because I felt like I had to upload. I don't ever want to feel like I have to upload, but I still sometimes feel like I have to upload. The situation right here right now, it's something I feel like I have to upload and it's something I want to upload. Because this is like a message that I want to be able to post to you guys for fun. And I want to have as much fun as I can editing this video out. I'm going to have as much fun as I can posting on YouTube. But yeah, as far as this channel that goes, I don't think I want to talk about the channel and how it's been going throughout the ages. I don't think I'll save that for like the 50th video or... Guys, I don't know how long this channel is going to last, but all I know is that the pros are outweighing the cons right now, and that's enough for me. As long as I'm still having a little bit more fun than I am having a little bit more misery with it, I'll enjoy my, my video uploads. And as far as the schedules... There is no schedules, alright? Alright, I've, I've caught myself trying to make schedules before. No schedules, guys. You guys will get your uploads when I feel like I want to get motivated and I'll make a video that I actually feel like I will enjoy and I feel like you guys will enjoy. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I can speak for you guys when I say that having a good upload that took like a week to make but given to you guys and you guys would love it so much is better than giving uh, you guys 45 videos a week, but then it, this sucks balls. Quality over quantity, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Please leave a like, subscribe. All that other crap, and sorry for the big upload. Oh, and there's gonna be an animation soon, so I might not be here for a few days.